Welcome to Picks with the Professor, the show where a real statistics professor gives you sports betting tips. I'm your host, Professor Sides, and for the latest updates, information, and picks, you can follow me on Twitter, at Professor Sides. Today, I have a special episode for you where I'm going to cover some educational tools that I think can really help you in your sports betting. So I'm going to split my screen over here and show you and I'm pulling up the website oddsjam.com. Now, before you click away on this, there's a ton of free tools on this website. So I, I really encourage you to listen to the watch the whole video. I think there's a lot of good things here that I want to talk about and, and help you think through and gain a little bit of an edge in your sports betting. And again, a lot of tools here that they've made available for free without paying anything extra. Now, they do have a subscription that you can use that offers some really neat things. And I'll cover some of that as well if you kind of want to take it beyond that. But there's a lot of free tools, no matter what, that you can use here. And so I just kind of want to play around a little bit with the website and show you some of these things. The first one I'm going to start off with is an expected value calculator. And this can be really helpful to just kind of getting a handle on what you think is going to happen with your wagers. Today, is the day after the all-star break uh, we've got the rangers playing the marlins so by the time you watch this this game's already happened so someone will have already won and lost right and that's the thing to remember of course is after the game's happened uh, or even before the game's happened you know if someone's gonna win someone's gonna lose you're gonna win all all the money or you're gonna lose all the money that you put on it but beforehand we have to think of things in terms of probabilities and i do that in all of my sheets i put out what the probability that i think is the team's gonna win for baseball for point spread sports, it looks a little bit different. I'll cover that topic a little bit later. But for money line sports, it's real simple, right? And you can do this math yourself. Some of you already know how to do this math. But it, this is just one of the really simple basic tools in case you haven't thought about this, right? If we're going to wager $100 on the Rangers right now, we locked in even money. So, you know, you can click this little tool around here to change or you just type in, you know, even money here. According to the model, the Rangers have a 53% chance of winning. So type in 53% wager of $100. And our expected value here is $6. So the idea is that we can expect to make $6 for every $100 that we wager. That would be, a, of course, a 6% expected ROI. This is why this is an A-grade pick for me. That doesn't mean the Rangers are going to win. In fact, I only think they win 53% of the time. But what we're saying in the long run is we expect plays like this to return a 6% return on our investment. So they have a little explanation here. You can kind of read through that. I'm not going to read it out to you. But just a little tool like this just going to help frame your mind around what's going on. And, of course, what you're going to see is things that probably make sense to a lot of you. Um, but just in case they don't, you can kind of just double check like, hey, what if I have a standard you know, minus 110 bet? And so because it's minus odds, I'm going to put $110 on it. But let's say I only think the team is 51% likely to win. You can just confirm, and again, some of you are already, already aware of this, but we need to win those plays 52.4% of the time to break even. Well, if they only win 51% of the time, we now have a negative ROI. So it can kind of give you an idea of what a smart wager is. Something, let's say big plus odds, right? When you have a situation where you've got a big underdog, well, let's say like NBA, right? And, you're, and you think you know, plus 750 underdog, and you're like, man, I think they can win this game. Well, assess what the probability is. You know, if you think there's a 10% chance they win this game, not a smart bet at seven plus 750, but what if you think there's, you know, a 30% chance they win this game? Now there's huge expected value. Obviously, that would be probably unrealistic. You're probably not going to get plus 750 on something like that. But even if maybe it's, you know, 15% or something like that, you can kind of play around with this. And it just kind of solves some of the problem of you having to do some of that mental math in your head or building your own Excel spreadsheet. They've got it all taken care of for you. Again, this is a very a free tool right here. The next thing I want to talk about, speaking of free, is the free bet conversion or free play calculator. I always encourage people to have multiple sports books, right? You'll hear me say that a lot. It doesn't mean you need 20. Right, but I always encourage you to have more than one, probably even more than two, at least three, maybe four reasonable outs makes a lot of sense because the price is very, and you could save yourself a lot of, of losses and increase your winnings a lot by just getting better prices on things. And so I always encourage people to have multiple sports books. Well, you know what happens when you open up multiple sports books, or even just when you reload at sports books, you end up with free bets, free plays, right? We've all ended up with these things. And the question is, what do you do with them? 
And so a lot of times what people do is they'll just kind of say, oh, well, this is about a 50-50 type play. I'll just pick a side. If I win, I win. If I lose, I lose. But why not go ahead and just convert that into bankroll? Right now, you can't convert all of it, of course. But why don't we just try to figure out how do we just get rid of the free play, just ignore it. I don't want to mess with it. I just want to convert as much of it as possible into a free play. So let's take that same Rangers-Marlins game. Rangers are even money, and the Marlins are or minus 110 on that. So I could say my free play amount, let's say I've got a $50 free play. And my free play line is that Rangers bet at even money. And the hedge line, now that's the other side, is minus 110. The idea here is I can go ahead and say, I'm going to put my free play on the Rangers and I'm going to bet actual money on the Marlins. So either way I'm covered. Well, how do you make the math work? Again, you could do the formula yourself. It's not like it's you know, crazy math that they've come up with. It's just they've done the math and put it all in there for you. So you don't have to build, you don't have to think it through. It just saves you a little bit of a hassle. What it says here is that we can go ahead and bet 2619 on the Marlins to win 2381. And now if the Marlins win, our free bet's gone. We've wasted it, but we've made 2381. Or if the Rangers win, we've converted that $50 into $50. Because it was even money. But we have lost our 26.19, so $50 minus 26.19 is 23.81. And we've just gone ahead and turned our free play into a 47% profit. Right? And then you can kind of see, well, what if I flipped it the other way? Would that actually change my percent profit? What if we did our free play on the Marlins and then we did our Roman in the range? You just check it out. Our free play line would then be minus 110. And then our hedge line here would be even money. And our percent profit now. Instead of being 46%, it's now 45%. So now we know which way to make the play in order just to give ourselves, I mean, it's not much, but an extra dollar. You know, extra dollar on a free bet. Why not? Again, every little bit helps in the course of, of a season like this. If we can make, every day, if we can make one more dollar and season, one more percent, I mean, that could be the difference between a winning and a losing season. So why not? Okay, and so again, what I really like here about Odds Chain is they've got these free tools here to just help in these situations, make sure that we're turning our free plays into just into actual usable money the next day. Now, one of the things that's really neat about Audio, if you if you pay for their subscription, and again, you don't have to do this, but they have under betting tools, they actually have a free bet converter where they'll actually pull the odds from various casinos on different sporting events and try to find the lowest hold so that you can maximize that percentage. Now today there's not as many sports happening because again, it's just, it's a couple of days after the all-star break, but right here they found that you can convert your free bet. You can convert a larger percentage of it. If you play the first half money line in a WNBA game, who, who would have ever thought about that? I, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have gone to that market. Right. But they found that if you go to Fox bet, you got minus 700. And if you, and here uh, it says odds jam. I don't, know what that's supposed to be. It's probably supposed to be a different book. There's some book out there that's plus 683. And you can bet both sides of that. And you can convert a higher percentage of, of your free bet. Or, or even if even if that is some sort of glitching, something right here, you got a lot of options, right? You've got come on, you've got DraftKings and 10 bet have plus one, plus 430 on this wager here. And then Party Poker, Borgata, and B Win. Again, this is an alternate total here. Obviously look at those those odds here for the Astros Yankees game one of the doubleheader, uh, you know, obviously the real total is not 12. That's why you see these odds. But that's the thing is they're looking at all these different markets and trying to say, where can you put your free bet on one side and your actual wager on the other side and guarantee some profit? And so you could do that legwork yourself and do their free bet conversion tool. And that'll just take care of the math for you, which is really nice. But then if you pay for the subscription, they'll aggregate this stuff for you and figure it out. If you got some free bet money, you can just kind of check it out every day and see what the highest percentages are. And then one of the really neat things, if you have a subscription, you could tell them what state you play in and what different sports books you have an account with, and it will only put up the ones that you've got here. So it'll aggregate through all of those and find your best options. And so maybe one day it, there's not a lot out there. You just wait for the next day, the next day or something until you find something good. You're looking for these low synthetic holes, something right here where the odds are pretty close to each other uh, in terms of what the juice is. And so then if uh, hypothetically we talk about this uh, alternate total here, I click the calculator and now it brings up that same tool, but it's specific. It's already got this information in here. So I don't have to then type that. I could just say, hey, my free bet, we say got that same 
$50 free play it. Okay, now I'm going to put 175 real dollars on the under 12 at minus 450 to make $39. The free play, I'm going to put the 50 bucks at plus 430. And now we've got a 78% profit rather than the previous one. We we're looking at 46%. And percent being what percentage of that free play do you just convert straight into bankroll? And obviously, getting that close to 100 is is what you're aiming for and really hard to do. So I mean, some of these 80% things that they found for us can be really advantageous. So again, one of the premium features that Odds Jam offers here, and again, like I said, I really like the fact that when you put in which sports book you have an account with, it'll only show those on the over here and not and not pull up something that you don't have access to. And then the last thing here that I want to cover, looping back to that uh, expected value calculator, one of the other premium things that Odds Jam offers is a positive expected value calculator. Now, this isn't that dissimilar to what I have in my own sheets that I provide. I'm trying to provide what the model says is positive expected value, but that's just one model approach, right? People, different people, different data sets can model things and look at things differently. Also, it depends on what um, what sports book you're looking at. Again, that's one of the benefits to Odds Jam, being able to put in which book you have an account with, and they can kind of aggregate and find some of that for you. Some of you may use uh, BetStamp. I verify all my bets on BetStamp, and they do a great job as that free tool. They do a great job of that. The difference is they don't have the what is a good bet, what's a bad bet, what's the expected value, what's the probability of team win, that sort of thing. That's what you're getting here. That's what I'm trying to provide in my sheets is just one look of this is what I think it is. Ajim has their own calculator of that sort as well. And so if you if you go to the betting tools and click that positive expected value tool, you can see here, these are some situations where it, it, they are assessing that there's just a positive expected value right off the bat. So we can just like when I'm doing where I say, Again, for this game, this Rangers-Marlins game on Thursday here right after the All-Star break. Again, by the time you're watching this, someone's won, someone's lost. But right now, I say the range of a 53% chance of winning. And so at the sports book that I'm using to grade all my picks, there's even money. Now, you shop around, you might get a better price than that and even a higher expected value. But I like the Rangers enough in this game. I think they're enough undervalued that probably most sports books you bet at, there's going to be value on the Rangers, at least as of the time that I, I recorded the morning show. Now, lines move of course and that may change it may be some books offer value some don't but that's enough value that probably most sports books you're going to have a positive expected value the question is are you shopping around and are you getting the best value and again that's what odd shame is doing for you here and their premium tools except they're aggregating not just sides but player props alternate totals whatever the heck the this dna bay stars I guess that's Japanese baseball. I mean, we're talking about it's got everything. Again, you sell it with sports, what you have and which options you've got. But this is you know, something here you can find on DraftKings where they say that they should only be plus 373. Again, this is just like what you see in my stuff every day, but they're actually at plus 460. And so that's telling you that there's a 13% positive expected value. That's even how that Rangers game I talked about, I was getting a 6% ROI, which – I think 6% ROI is pretty good, right? And they're finding things here with 13%, 15%. Now, again, it, and it's just like my stuff, right? You're trusting that their odds that they're coming up with, just like I do, nothing's infallible, right? So I would encourage, you know, you, you can't look at this and say this is perfect, right? This is just their best guess at what the true odds should be, just like I'm coming up with. And so it's just an extra tool to throw in your arsenal where these are some things to look at. And, of course, here you can filter by, whatever you're interested in, right? Let's say you just you just want to focus on, you know, Major League Baseball, right? So deselect everything else, and let's just go to MLB, right? And now we've still got a lot of things to look at, but let's say we want just, let's just say we want the main markets, right? We don't want to deal with props. We don't deal with anything like that. Or, or, or you filter later, you filter through and you just look at props, right? Now these are just who's going to win and what the total is. Now, notice a lot of times the better expected values come in these alternate totals with these weird juices. So you got to be comfortable playing at those. And I know a lot of people aren't. So you just scroll right through those and just get two things that are a little bit better right here. Notice they have Giants minus one. It's a good bet. And if you, if you remember from the show on Thursday, and again, who knows that game's already happened, right? So either that looks good or it doesn't. You know how it goes. But I think, we're, I think right now the odds that the, that the Giants are some value on the Giants, right? But this says there's actually more value on the Giants at minus one if you're betting with bet 99. Now, if you don't have bet 99 as an option, those odds are going to be lower. And that's fine. Again, you tell it which books you have, and it'll sort through, and it won't show that. It'll show it down later at the books you do have 
right? And so you just got to scroll through and try to figure out where they assess where there's value. Now, of course, they say there's some value here on the Marlins. So we disagree on that. And that's fine. Every person that models, we're not going to agree on everything. It's just, again, another look at here are some different opportunities that might offer you some positive expected value. And of course, you notice this one right here is interesting. Again, this is why I'm always talking about shopping around, right? If you're if you get an account at Sports Interaction and one at the Superbook uh, there in Nevada, right, you could actually bet both sides and make money on this one. There's actually a positive expected value on the Giants and a positive expected value on the Dodgers because you're getting better plus odds on the Giants than you are on the Dodgers. So again, a lot of really good information to sort through here, again, to use as a tool and helping you try to find the right bets, the right markets, and the right odds that you want to use in order to help you be more profitable. And so if you're interested in signing up for an account with Odds Jam, I'll have a link here in the description for you. You can sign up and get all these uh, premium tools, again, that can, can really make the difference in you know losing or winning or you know winning by a little, winning big. Just every little bit of extra 1% here, 2% here we can get. That stuff adds up if you're doing this on a daily or even a semi-daily basis. So again, a link will be in the description to sign up for Odds Jam for their premium services. But look, even if you don't do that, again, they have a lot of tools on there for free that I really encourage you to just to check out. Uh, things that I, I, before Odds Jam existed, I built a lot of these tools for myself in Excel and in R, and I just built ways to calculate some of this stuff. Now, they've done it for, for you, right? So if you've already got these tools built, kind of like I do, maybe not as much of a help, but for a lot of you, if you don't have them already built, they've got a lot of this stuff. Do the math for you, make it real simple. And I think that can help a lot. Like I said, even their free stuff can really be helpful. So I encourage you to check that out. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for tuning into this special episode of Picks with the Professor. A reminder, in case you're looking for any extra information, you can find all that stuff at the website, www.pickswiththeprofessor.com. If you haven't done so yet, please click that subscribe button to ensure all the sports betting content we provide on this channel drop right into your feed. And as always, best of luck. And remember, you can eat your betting money, but please don't bet your eating money.